Let the nightmare begin. Up, Woody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. And this is my adorable assistant, Zeno Asagiri. And today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Vigilante Boku no Hero Academia Illegals Chapter 99. And, woo, man. Kitty knows. Kitty knows how intense last chapter was because Nameless Number 6 Nameless number six is putting the city of Naruhata into darkness. Into darkness, right, kitties? Um, but the other thing, though, that I was kind of surprised by Eraser, by Aizawa. He was saying that the heroes were, you know, trying to help him. Nah, Eraser, you are full of shit. You are full of shit. Yeah, they could be trying to help him, but nah, nah. You know better. You know better that there is a catch. There is a motherfucking catch. That there is a, there is, um, that there is some power grab. That there is some thirst for power there. Stop lying. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and into the nightmare and see what's in store for us today. All right. Oh, Ben Cord, you are not letting me down. You are not letting me down. You are continuing your kick-ass art streak. And chapter 99 is titled Phases. Operation Anonymous, Phase 1. Yee! Several simultaneous electromagnetic pulse attacks shut off the, uh, shot the power and communications in all of Naruhata. Smart, smart, smart. When light and sound are abruptly lost, people are left stunned, unable to act. Well done with this, number six. Thanks. Right, kitties? Right, kitties? Kitty knows. Kitty knows. Kitty knows that's right. Then comes phase two. Block off the major roads with a series of accidents. However, keep in mind that the objective is simply to limit incoming and outgoing traffic. Sure, sure. So, no big flashy pileups. I get it. Yeah, because if you do a big flashy pileup, it's going to look very sus. It is. But phase one, with um, fucking up the grid like that, oh, that is brilliant. It's brilliant because if you fuck up the grid and um, cause all the lights to go out and fuck up everyone's electronic devices, ooh, you're going to cause mass panic. Oh, damn straight, right, kitties? You're going to cause mass panic. You're going to cause mass chaos. And that's what you want. Another traffic jam? And this traffic jam right here is even better. Because then you're blocking all the um, emergency personnel and the heroes from getting there. So, yeah, everyone is fucked. Everyone is fucked. And it's not just the traffic lights shut down by the blackout. All these accidents, too, are rendering the roads impassable. I'm beginning to doubt it's a coincidence that, um, that comms are also down. Something strange in the neighborhood of Naruhata. Mm hmm But then you got people like Ingenium who know that something's up. Because amidst the chaos, if you're not already panicking and shit, there's going to be people that realize, wait a minute, something going on here. Something's wrong. This is too much of a coincidence. Meanwhile, you have everyone just like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> but if you keep a calm and cool, collect, calm, if you stay calm, cool, and collected, you'll realize something's up. You do. Phase three, cause trouble throughout the town. Uh, that should be minor stuff too, right? Yes, exactly. Mm. What the hell are you doing? Mm. Dude, that's so creepy. What we aim to create is an overall atmosphere of unease. Oh, yes, you want to cause an atmosphere of unease and chaos and calamity. Yep, for sure. Like at the start of horror movies when there's an eerie feeling you can't quite put your finger on. Yep. People don't know what's going on and uh, people don't know what's going on and feel helpless and now they'll be gripped by a vague sense of dread. 
Oh, yes, 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 a thousand times yes. You'll get the paranoia going on. I kind of wish it would, uh, the word, para this should be a vague sense of paranoia. I wish it was paranoia, not dread. Remi hold on, let me see. Ah, there's the paranoid. Okay, I take that back. I was going to be like, if there's no, if there is no paranoid up in here, paranoia up in here, I'll be pissed. But there is. Sorry. Oh, God. Sorry for a Hashi. I, sorry for a second that I doubted you for a Hashi sensei. All until they grow paranoid, jumping at shadows, leaving them unable to cooperate and take appropriate action together. Oh, yeah, because everyone's going to look at each other and be like, you fucking did this. You fucking did this. You're the enemy. But the thing is, though, why isn't there chaos already? There should be mass panic and chaos from all the lights and electronics being shut off from the EMPs. That's where the chaos should have been already starting. But, eh, whatever. The small slice of society will cease to function, having been divided on, psycholo on a psychological level. It's brilliant. Br psychological warfare is so fucking brilliant. It is. But, again, you would already have the par- Well, the seed of paranoia was already put- Or, the seed of chaos, let's be real. It's not paranoia. The seed of chaos was already planted when you fucked up everyone's electronics and communications and walled them off with the car crashes and shit. Once you did that, oof, you definitely planted a seed of chaos. Divided, huh? Kind of like old Racer and Koichi. I figure they're still playing tag right now, which removes them from the equation. Oh, for now. You underestimate them. Right, cat? Right, Zeno, Zeno knows. Zeno knows. Wait, Crawler, something's wrong in this town. Maybe, but I still can't let you catch me. See, Eraser figured it out. Koichi, you're being a dumbass. Huh? Who's that flying overhead? The crueler? Uh-oh. Ah! Oh no, that scooter! Yeah, they're gonna real- the It's gonna bring them together. Oh no, that- Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh no, that scooter, it's jumped the curb. There we go. Crawler, uh, uh, crawler, on it. Um, you good? S somehow, yeah. Can you stand? Uh, oh, let's move your scooter out of the way. Yo, nicely done, crawler. What's this? Well, aren't they brave and dashing, but teaming up in the end? Not a fan of that, nope. A minor setback, number six. A racer head in the crawler can do nothing to derail our plan. That's what you think. True enough, but still. Oh, and then they get forgot the other factor. And that's interesting. Yeah, that's coming. Hey, crueler. Um, hey, crueler, you want to tell us what's going on around here? Our phones are all dead. And what's with the traffic jams? Um, what's the power coming back? Um, I'm totally in the dark, uh, dark too. Um, uh, you're useless then. You there, Scruffy, you're a hero too, right? I am, but if you're implying that he is too, you should know he's just a kid in a costume, so you won't get any answers from him. Wait, is that true, Crawler? No, that's just confusing. You want to give us a, uh, give us an explanation then for all this crap? Until we learn more, you're best off hungering down somewhere. That's all I can say at this point. I saw, but you're an asshole for saying... Dude, you know what? If I were them, if I were the populace that, that um... At that point, when Eraser said that, I, when Izawa said that, I would have been like, dude, you're a, you're a dude in a costume too. What the fuck's your problem? <laughs> I would have said that too. That's what I would have said as soon as Izawa said that. I'm like, look who's talking. You're a dude in a costume. And you both saved that kid. So, what's the difference between you and him, huh?
Are you kidding? Take some responsibility, man. He's, he's not exactly cut out for customer service. Uh-oh. Calm yourselves, good people. Um, a string phone? Ack, it's them again. Um, sorry. Ack, it's them again. Best genus and Edshot, too. Is anyone hurt? Whoa, even Jim Engine Eames here now. Oh, number six. Uh, they're all here. So number six is didn't count them in. So now this brings an interesting question. What if, what if they weren't being, and I hate this word, but I'm going to say it anyway. What if they weren't being bootlickers? What if they were saving Koichi from nameless number six? What if they knew about this the whole time? I doubt it, but this could be a very, this could be the case. We'll have to wait and see. Um, a genus status report. The details st still need confirming in Janine, but to the civilians, I say this. You need not worry. Oh, let's see. Um, why? Because, uh, we are here. Oh, my God. Fuck. Stupid freaking yes uh why because we are here in your town yes heroes are on the scene Hurrah! however all might is not however all might is not here nope he is the only true hero no matter what the lesser heroes do it won't amount to more than a mere rounding error and ooh, ooh, that was a diss that was such a diss that's fucked up that's so mean that's mean. I wouldn't under I wouldn't underestimate them though. I wouldn't under you uh, I I wouldn't under you know everyone underestimated Koichi and Koichi is a vigilante. So motherfucker, I would not underestimate them if I were you. And now a blackout and jam phone lines all at once? Um there's a chance this is a coordinated attack. I have to get in, I have to get in touch with uh, the head office somehow. But first, we fig but first we figure out what's really going on. Detective Sukachi, concerning the status of the special hospital wing, I'll be right there. All Might will never deploy over an unseen threat. Um, hence Operation Anonymous. Okay. This is where I feel like. They, they might be wrong on this one. If All Might senses that something's up, it's called hero intuition for one thing. And also, you know, they could send a hero to where All Might's at and be like, you know, there's a lot of shit going down. Come help, and you know, we kind of need your help, All Might. I think they, they are underestimating them. Nameless number six is in his psychotic imagination of Overclock. is underestimating them. And, and we know Knuckle Dust are going to be coming back. Based on what we saw, we saw that someone broke into Koichi's house and took them Knuckles. We know Knuckle Dust are going to come back at some point. That's what I would love to see. I'll put my tinfoil hat in this one, but I know Furuhashi watches my content. Furuhashi follows me on Twitter, by the way. So, hi, Sensei. A funny Sensei. Um, Furuhashi, what I want to see, what I would love to see is at some point, my boy Knuckle Duster come up and sneak up behind name of some six and just punch him. I want to see it. I want to fucking see it. I do, I do, I do. But overall with this plan, I love this plan. I love Operation Anonymous. I think it is brilliant. Phase one, fucking brilliant. Phase two, for the most part, it was goddamn sneaky. I like it. I like the first two phases. And I love what the overall goal is. I do. I love that the idea is to seal off Naruhata have the, everything all the power going all out and like cause some major psychological warfare um the only thing that they didn't the uh, only thing that kind of bugged me a little bit was i was kind of surprised that there weren't more people like freaking out in the streets 
because of uh, because of the grid being all fucked up. That's the only, from the EMP. That's the only thing I'm kind of surprised about. I kind of would like I would have liked to see it, but the thing that bothered me, and I'm again I am very surprised that we didn't get this is after Aizawa said just pointed out that. Um, you know, Koichi's just a kid in a costume. I really would have loved someone to be in, in the crowd to be a complete smartass and say, "Well, you're just a guy in a costume too. What's the uh, so? What's the difference between you and him?" Oh no, it would have been like, "You're just a guy in a costume too, and both you're a guy in a costume too, and both of you." Last time I checked, um, or sorry, where is last? Last time I checked, you're a guy in a costume too, and both of you saved that kid off a scooter. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he's a hero too. That's what I would have said. I would have said something like that. Like, I would have been a complete smartass. And I would have had someone be a complete fucking smartass and say that. I don't know why no one was a complete smartass and said that to Aizawa. I would have loved to see Aizawa's reaction to this shit. It would have been so fucking epic. It would have. Why, Farahashi, why did you not do that? Why? Why, why, why did you not do that? That would have been so epic. And it would have been just, like, pure smart assery. And it would have worked so well here, too, because the people of Narahata see um, Koichi as a, hero, as a hero. They know he's, they know he's a vigilante. That's the other thing that bugs me, too. They know he's a vigilante. He's known as one of the vigilantes of Narahata. Why the fuck didn't they say anything? Why the hell didn't they say it? Oh, that, that really bugs. Now the more I'm thinking about it, the more that's really pissing me off. Farahaji, why? Why did you do that? Why didn't you have the smart assery up in here? Why? Why didn't you do that? They know he's a vigilante. They know. He's always a, one of the vigilantes in Narahata. That really bugs me. That really does bug me. I'm really curious if anyone else is kind of annoyed by this. But, um, anyway... Besides that, I really did enjoy this chapter. The other thing um, that, again, as I said, I'm really curious what you guys think about uh, Nameless Number 6 underestimating the heroes. I think he is. He, he is underestimating them. I mean, for crying out loud, he said that no one was going to figure out his shit. They, they figured it out easily. They did. Only an idiot, only someone that was like in the middle of paran uh, that was like truly paranoid would have would have figured out his shit. Um, as I said, nor under normal circumstances, what he did was pretty goddamn smart. I really got to give him props for that. But, but, like, I'm not gonna lie. Even <laughs> the military and the or the FBI and the CIA would have figured that shit out. <laughs> not gonna lie. But um, the uh, but now let me get to this art. Betancourt, this art is just fabulous. Really, this is, Betancourt has come a long way with this art. He really has. But man, I really, really want, really want him to push it more. I just want more with this art. I do. I want more. I really, really want more with this art. Especially, like, with, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I kind of would have liked this to have like a little bit more pizzazz and the, the backgrounds I should have I should say this the background should have been darker it should have been a little bit darker because remember we're supposed to be plunged in darkness why wasn't it plunged in darkness and yeah 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 I understand for various reasons why it couldn't be completely black just a teen a bit darker would I would have been happy but I'm really curious what you guys saw this chapter I really I gotta again I gotta say back in court this art is looking so much better it really really freaking is but man I really want you to step it up more bring it step it up more with this art do it you're get it's get the it's 
getting there, but man, I want more. Anyway, I'm really curious what you guys thought about this chapter. Um, do you guys agree with me in terms of the writing, especially in regards to um, the smart assery, that there should have been some smart assery when, um, when Aizawa was saying that uh, um, uh, Koichi was just a kid in a costume? Should have fucking done that. For Hashi, should have done that. I'm really mad. And what do you guys think of the art? Do you think um, uh, Betancourt has come a long way? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this uh, channel alive so I can keep bringing you more vigilante content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.